Hey guys, we're in Half Moon Bay on a negative tide, trying to dig up some clams. Looking for holes in the sand left by the siphon of the clams. The bigger the hole, the bigger the clam. There are a limited number of days in which you can harvest these giant clams. So when it's a negative tide and the ocean recedes, be ready to dig. You will need a California fishing license to dig for these clams and the limit is 10 per day. Looks like Catherine enjoys squishing her feet in the mud. We'll have to get her some boots for next time. If you're lucky, you'll find the clam within the first two feet of digging, but uh, don't be surprised if you have to go beyond three feet. Here I am multitasking by uh, taking a little rest while watching out for a clam geyser. Once I can feel or see the clam, I use the garden trowel because uh, it fits in the hole and therefore you can make uh, okay. your dig at the correct angle and do it delicately. There are a variety of clams you can dig up. I am targeting the horse neck clams, which have the bigger meteor siphon. Uh, this here, I believe, is a butter clam or a Washington clam, which have the thicker shells, less likely to crack when you're digging. Ooh, 
If you happen to dig up a clam you don't want, make sure to put it back in as close to the same place as possible with the siphon up. And when you're done digging your hole, make sure you refill it. And just like at the store, if you break it, you buy it. And in this case, if you crack the shell, you're supposed to keep the clam. <laughs> How do you feel? Get in the gym. <laughs> that was quite a workout. Yeah, just Let's after see. two holes, I was already done. <laughs> well, I mean, we got like half a dozen or so. Mm <laughs> so how did you not <laughs> yeah, so We just finished uh, getting clams after mussels and uni uh, for the full Half Moon Bee experience and uh, we'll be prepping them. I don't know how we're going to cook them quite yet, but uh, I guess you'll find out in the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Special thanks to Catherine for doing all the camera work. Until next time, no skunk.